So we're going to take uh, what we've just learned with that a bit of a cheater thing, the third guitar chord on the fifth autumn day, and we're going to figure out how we can write songs using those notes. And it boils down to one thing. Everybody um, has probably heard sometime in their life the scale Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. This is in G, I guess. Do, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Okay, that's a typical major scale. Now, if instead of saying Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, if you substitute those with numbers, what you get is this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, this is your octave. And it sometimes is referred to as the eight in the scale, but if you're going to continue, it's again the one. So you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, all the way up the neck. So what you get is a scale represented by numbers that looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one. So what we're interested in is what is known as the one, four, five. You need to ingrain that into your head, okay? It's probably the most important thing in writing music. It's called a one, four, five. Okay, and what it boils down to is this. Here's your one. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, four, five. You follow that? One, two, three, four. That's a C, right? Guitar chord. One, two, three, four, and two frets higher is five. Remember, there's a hole between C and D, so that's a D. So, in essence, a one, four, five in the key of G, because we're starting on our third fret of the sixth string, which is our G note. So, that becomes a one, four, five. So, what we end up having is, and what are those notes? G. C, D. Now where have we seen G, C, and D before? Look familiar? Five. 